Hello everybody, and welcome to a brand new Japanese horror game called The Candlelight, The Love Hidden in the Darkness. This is a 2D side-scroller about a woman who is exploring the abandoned halls of a mansion. What for, we do not know, but we'll find out in this game. This game was found on a Japanese indie developer site called Frame. I have found several other games on this site and I am looking forward to translating the games I find on there, starting with this one. Just a disclaimer before I begin, this is an unofficial translation of the game. I was not contacted by the developer in any shape or form. I am not fluent in Japanese. This is merely a hobby. So, let's just begin and see where this takes us. Entangled behind the deep, deep black forest, there is an old, opulent, aristocrat mansion that is quiet as the grave. The master of the house, Henry E. Grandwood. He was not only a genius, but excelled in the arts as well. However, the master of the house had a certain rumor that circled around him. He had gotten his talents from a deal with the devil. The Candlelight This game is played using a mouse and keyboard. Here are the controls. The woman will alert you at suspicious places with a commission mark. The mouse pointer will change and you can right click to carry out an action. You can turn hints on and off via the menu screen. When we were very little, we were inseparable. So then why did things become so strained? After father's inheritance was distributed, why was I alone weakened? So this is a side-scroller horror game, and all we can do is angle our camera up and down and move forward. We cannot move backwards. Good evening, Maribel. All candles must be extinguished on the floor after 10 p.m. Firstly, be careful to not push yourself with your shoulder. Also, take care with your footing. It looks like the armor with the one who spoke. The object of the game is to light as many candles and collect as many paintings as we can. So here is an example of a candle we can light. And this is the hint screen, which will display items, areas we can interact with, with the blue rings, and our percentages of how many candles and artworks we've collected. There are two endings based on whether you collect all the candles and paintings or not. So at first I will be showing you the ending in which you do not collect them all, and I'll be showing you the ending in which you do. Let's continue. This artwork is titled, Morning Scenery. A painting of the Grandwood Mansion's surrounding lands, the grand nature has been delicately depicted. This artwork is titled, The Grandwood House. A painting of a brief moment outside the Grand Mansion at the lake shore with the lively swimming swans. 
The long ago prosperity of the aristocrats is expressed through their vibrant colors. Norman's beloved steed. The Grandwood family cherished horses for generations, and the young boys enjoyed horseback riding and hunting. The horses expressed strength and vitality. Good evening, Maribel. By the honor of the knights, what thou seek lies beyond thine eyes. So we can ask questions about the candle, about the paintings, and about the hints. So we pretty much know how to play the game. This is just more information on how to play it. So we're, we're going to say we're fine. And move on. Clock no longer moves. Books and literature overflow the shelves. Previous Master and Lady Graham Granwood and wife Eliza E. Granwood. This is a painting of when they were young. The Three Granwood Children Portraits of the eldest son Henry, the middle son Norman, and eldest daughter Emily. When they were little, they were inseparable. Botany field books and biology texts fill the shelves. This artwork is titled The Portrait of the Ninth Generation Master. When Henry's father died in an accident, he took the title of head of the house at an early age. This picture depicts a mixture of anxiety and relief. Maribel, I require something of you in order to, inside this place, light the candles for me and those horrifying sounds. Promise me, Maribel. And we light this candle. This artwork is titled Henry Painting. Since Henry was a child, he had a weak body, so instead of going out to play, he enjoyed staying inside and painting. He even had his own atelier to paint in. Is a painting of a clock hanging here. There are books depicting the internal structures of the human body. I wonder how they got references for these diagrams. The Girl and the Flower Crown A painting of an adorable little girl. The model of this painting is of Emily when she was younger.
there are writings related to black magic and resurrection. There is a statue of a woman carrying water vases. There is something in this vase. Found the safe key. Flower. Every petal is painted in immense detail. Henry enjoyed painting plants, and they are often in many of his works. This conveys a longing for a plant's vitality in their quiet but strong lives. I found someone's diary. I found a present for Emily's birthday. During the banquet tonight, I planned to secretly whisk the two of us away. Will the lady be happy when she sees it? I am eagerly looking forward to it. The clock has stopped. This artwork is called Secret Thoughts. The pale colors express a secret yearning. The meeting of lovers in the new month depicts a scene of secret lovers hidden in the dark underneath the moonlight. The models are unknown. This artwork is called Portrait of a Beautiful Woman Seated. Because the model is unknown, it is speculated that this figure was drawn from imagination. There is a theory that this was painted from Henry's fear and anxiety regarding women. This artwork is called The Banquet. This painting depicts a grand banquet. The contrast of the brightness in the foreground and darkness in the back has been depicted with a delicate touch. This painting is a puzzle. Complete the puzzle. Arsenic or arsenicum. Arsenic is a tasteless, odorless, and colorless poison. It was often used in assassinations. This painting is titled, Emily's Death. On the day of the banquet, the poisoned wine meant for Henry was drunk by Emily, whom never recovered. The Remainder of Eternity Emily vomited blood from her mouth and suffered in agony until she finally died. The clock has stopped. The Funeral Procession of the Nothing A work depicting a funeral. The identity of the poisoner was never discovered, and in order to keep scandal from the family, Emily's death was treated as one from sickness.
chaos. After the loss of Emily, Henry drowned in sorrow and grief, which overflowed into all of his works. Repentance and Prayer The light that shines into this chapel is majestic yet harsh. Henry grieves the loss of his sister in the dark beside her entombed body. He has to bring her back. The Dark's Temptation The next morning, Henry searches for a way to revive the dead. Through rumor, he learns that there may be a dark and cruel ritual. Rotten Fruit, a painting of a pomegranate. It resembles a human organ in some ways. Eliza's Drowning After her daughter's death, Eliza lost herself. Riding with a servant in the lake, the boat capsized and she drowned. Norman's Fallen Steed Norman's beloved steed suddenly went wild during a ride. During this, Norman fell and was kicked in the neck. He died instantly. I can interact with this painting. There is something between the frame and the wall. Move the frame from the wall. Revealed a secret safe. There is a secret safe here. Use the safe key. There is something inside. You picked up the unbreakable bond ring. face of the devil. That night, the devil whispered sweetly, paint until you die and I will grant your wish. Henry's work had fascinated even the devil, but was he real? Visitor from the afternoon storm. That day, a woman knocked on the mansion doors, quiet and ominous. She was seeking new employment. It is said that in Henry's loneliness, and attracted by her magical charm, he invited her inside. There's a painting here. I found someone's diary. Why did she have to die? Really, at that time, it should have been me. I want to see Emily. I want to see Emily. I want to see Emily. I'm so alone. The line between ecstasy 
and madness. It was said that Henry was ill. Realizing his impending mortality, he immersed himself in painting, too horrified to stop. Recollection Perhaps this is a depiction of that day. It is an ephemeral and nostalgic piece. Emily's Portrait Many of the women he painted did not have faces. It is said these may have all been of Emily. Recollection 2 Henry continued to paint until his death. He did not paint many pieces, but those he did were said to contain pieces of his soul and were extremely expensive for this reason. day of revival. Many mysteries surrounded how Henry made his living. He produced many masterpieces and became well known. They say he traded his soul to paint these masterpieces, and in the end, the devil got his due. Maribel. I still have not aged. On this final morning, this painting is perfect. Perhaps the demon will leave what little there is left of me now. This is my final secret, the promise. I may be forever trapped in this solitude. By creating these paintings, I felt like I had accomplished something. That is why, my creations, you told me you enjoyed them. Thank you for keeping your promise, Maribel. At last, my final piece is perfect. To this girl, 
to Emily. End two. There is a foreboding metal door. Open. There is a loud groan as the door is pushed slowly open. No one ever bothered you. Not even demons. That is why I beg you, Emily, in my exchange with the devil, bring her back. Oh, Maribel, you are a hard worker. So you were here in this place, Lady Emily? Yes. Do you remember my brother? I was told I could see my big brother Henry once more. My father, my mother, even my awful brother Norman. Everyone has passed away. But my brother Henry still isn't here. Why am I the only one who lives? They have all left me all alone. I cannot begin to fathom their solitude. Please take this. Gave the Unbreakable Bond ring. My, what a pretty ring. Lord Henry was planning on giving this to you, Lady Emily. Please accept it. It's the color of blood, a real red ruby. It looks so delicious. Thank you, Maribel this important task. Well, the night grows cold. Please return to your room. Yes. Good night, Maribel. Good night, Lady Emily. Sweet dreams. End one. So that is the end of Candlelight. That is both the endings. Um, I thought I would just do a little bit of my thoughts and what I think the story is trying to tell us. What with the paintings and what little diary entries we had. So my interpretation of the story is that Henry became head of the family, but Norman was jealous. So he poisoned Henry's wine on that night of the banquet, but Emily drank it instead. I think she knew it was poison, because she did hint that at the end here, when she said how horrible her horrible brother Norman. So I think she drank the wine in order to save Henry. But, you know, that kind of backfired because Henry then sold his soul to the devil in order to bring her back. And uh, he died. But she did, she did come back. But, you know, I suspect that she is either a demon or a vampire now. Based on how she thinks the ruby looks delicious. 
So, that's kind of an interesting uh, story there. But please let me know what you think of the story, what you think it is. And I'd love to hear your theories. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this kind of style of game. I'll see you in the next game. See you later.